Now, they say a dog is man's best friend. Well, take a look at this. Dean Nicholson changed the meaning of that when he adopted the cat Nala back in 2018. Mm, Dean was on a solo bike trip around Europe when he saw the stranded kitten on the side of the road. Now, that cat was Nala, and after nursing her back to full health, the pair have been inseparable Aww. ever since. They've been on a bit of an adventure as well, uh, travelling to 29 countries and becoming a viral sensation. We have a chat with them earlier. Maybe people just love the fact that I'm just travelling away um, and they get to see every single day there's something different that happens in my lifestyle. So I think me just showing that and people just love watching our journey. And, of course, uh, not many people travel with a cat as well. I mean, so people love that aspect of it as well. So my children's book this time round, because actually that's originally what you wanted to do. Why do you want to tell this, this story to children? When we first went viral, I wanted to do a kid's book. That was the first thing that came into my mind because I just feel like there's so many good messages out there in the world we should be teaching kids, um, especially nowadays. And this book here, um, since obviously Nala's a stray, um, the first, like, the message in here in this book is what to do if you find a stray animal and, like, adopt, don't shop, that sort of message in it. Dean, how do you stop Nala getting about eight stone? I, I see you constantly <laughs> feeding her during these TV interviews. <laughs> She doesn't actually eat that much during the day. Um, I she just she eats normally. I've got her, I've got her eating the uh, just now just because I need to get her on telly. But <laughs> nah, she doesn't eat that much. The last time we spoke, it was deep in lockdowns, pandemic. How did that affect your, your travelling at the time, and what have you been doing since then? Um, well, the, the first lockdown, we were stuck in Hungary and there was just no point moving. So we we're just one of our followers reached out and gave um, gave us our house to stay in. The second lockdown happened when we we're in Austria. So that's just kind of we're going to be traveling a wee bit in the van and then we're going to go on to start traveling in spring again by bike. Hopefully get over to Thailand. That's where we're aiming for. OK, so you're off on your travels again. Um, Dean, I'm intrigued because it's yeah. obvious what you give to Nala. What does she give to you? What does Nala give to me? Um, I mean, I love her, like... Like, she's my best friend, just travelling with her every single day. Um, and as long as she's happy, I'm happy, so that's the main thing in my life now. Well, I love the fact you're in a, a camper van uh, this time round, because the last time we spoke, uh, there was a bookshelf which Nala liked. However, she fell from it. I don't know if you remember that. She, she landed on her feet, aye, though. Aye, aye. <laughs> of course. Aye, she jumped up, aye, and just seen her wee back legs going... <laughs> Uh, and Dean, before we say goodbye to you, can we just have one last look at Nala? Can you can you drag her up for us? I'll try my best. Wow! Come and say hello. Come goodbye. on, Nala. There she is. Hello, well, uh, Dean. We really hope you have some safe travels in the months ahead. Oh, hello, Nala. Look, no, oh, look at this. She's looking. She knows how to finish an interview. You got her, you got her attention, Dan. Finally. And uh, all the best for the book as well. See you later, Nala.